So what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today it is a dollar day at Dream Deals. You know what time it is. I'm about to go in here and see what profits I can find so I can turn them into more profits and then turn those into more profits. So I'm gonna walk in here and search all the bins and I'm probably only gonna spend up to $100 today. That's gonna be my goal. I'm not gonna go more than that. So that means I could spend around $30, I could spend 20, but I'm definitely not gonna go more than 100. And as always, thank you for liking the channel. Thank you for blessing me as always and just everything that you do. I, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. And uh, make sure you go bless somebody today because I promise you, I'm gonna bless somebody today. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my car because the line is not long at all. So I feel like I can just go in as soon as they open the doors. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in my car, sit down and relax and probably catch up on some YouTube videos. But anyways, guys, you don't wanna hear all that. I'm rambling. I'll see you when we get inside. And I forgot to add, if anybody happens to say, hey, I seen you on YouTube, I'm going to give them $5. Yes, I'm going to just go in my pocket and give them $5. So that's going to be the goal today for me kind of blessing somebody today. I usually get noticed when I come to this one. So maybe one, one or two people might notice me. I will be screwed if like five people will. But anyways, I'll see you in a little bit. So guys, you already know it's the same strategy as always. We come in here and we go from bin to bin and see if we can find the best items possible. So as you know, this is dollar day. So I really didn't scan any item when I first walked in or really throughout. I was just going through the bins trying to see exactly what I could find. And if it was an item that I've seen before or it was brand new or if it was sealed or looked profitable i grabbed it threw it in my buggy and as always later on we'll go through the sorting procedure but i was just going through the bins as fast as i could and in the beginning i wasn't going as thorough as i normally would because of the fact you want to just hit as many bins as you possibly can when you initially walk into the store so that was pretty much my goal hit all of these bins as fast as I can to find all of these profits and then these kids are all in the way which is crazy because they have a rule where kids aren't supposed to be in the bins unless they are 16 year olds or over but I'm not going to go into tangent on that we're going to talk about these items in these bins you guys just sit back and watch me rummage through these products as always and as always again I won't make you watch through the whole thing I'll give you about a good 30 more seconds of this footage but sit back and enjoy
Okay, guys, that's it. Feel like we got some okay items today. I wouldn't say it's nothing to go home and scream about, but we got some pretty decent items. Should make some pretty good money. You know, it was a dollar day. Stayed under the goal. I only spent like $86 or so. So that's good. As you can see, I'm struggling with the buggy, so we're going to get the buggy in the car. We ain't gonna go over every single product because there's like 70 something items. But I will pick out a few and just see what kind of profits there's potential. But anyways, I'll check it out when we get to the house. Okay guys, so I'm in the storage building now. About to grab these items that I have. I have about uh, 13 items that I have to ship out. So, you know, left dream deals. Had to run a few errands and now I'm in the storage building and I'm gonna grab these items. Um, just wanting to throw this in the video to let you know exactly what I do on a daily basis, let you know that there's always gonna be something to do when you're dealing with eBay, especially when you're a full-time eBay seller. So don't think that, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna have all this time in the world. Like the money's good, but there is work behind it. So just know that you have to focus pretty much a lot of the hours of the day when you're dealing with eBay, especially being like a YouTube eBay or reseller, like there's a lot of time that you have to deal with. So just want you to be mindful of that. But anyways, I'm gonna grab these 13 items and you can catch these 13 items on the what sold video. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna grab these items and then we're gonna go to the house and talk about exactly the items that we found today at Dream Deals. So fun fact, um, I forgot a bag. So all these items right here that I have to ship out, I'm gonna have to carry to the car individually. I'm gonna probably find something to do, but yeah, just let you know how forgetful I am sometimes. But yeah, good sales. Go check out the What Sold video. <laughs> As we're at the house, we're about to go over all the products. Well, not all, but some of the products that we got today. And a little reminder, today was dollar day. And I spent around 80 something dollars, which I probably have already said. But yeah, got some okay items. But on my way here, I got an inquiry about a mystery box. So I guess I'm going to show you what I kind of do to put together these mystery box or my idea. And maybe you can just drop in the comments if you think it's a good idea or what I need to improve on, or, you know, I need your feedback. So this is definitely a learning experience for me. So when people get mystery boxes from me, I want to hear good things. I don't want nobody being disappointed. So I need you guys to help. So my general idea with every mystery box that I send out or I have already sent out, I've already sent out like four mystery boxes, but on this one, I really want to take my time and kind of get your opinion. Um, so the general idea is I'm selling the boxes for $65. So the goal is to put around $65 worth of profit in the box first. Before I do anything else, I want to put at least $65 worth of profit. This book right here, for example, if somebody sells this book on Amazon, it'd be worth more than if they sold it on eBay. So I don't know what their platform it is. So I'll just put that book in there and I know it's profit in my head that I don't have to count. Something like these wireless earbuds that people can get anywhere between 20 and $30 for, you know what I'm saying? I'll just count this as like a $20 item. So I'll put that right here. And then we have these different games. Um, I have like a PS4 game that I'm gonna put in the box and like these Xbox games that really aren't worth that much, probably like 10 bucks or so. Then we have a few more games, again, depending on the platform you send it on, brand new sealed. So I'm gonna throw those in the box. And then, you know, every mystery box, you get stuff that you just don't want. So I have a bunch of just random DVDs. Uh, they could probably make some money off of them, don't know. Uh, we have some iPhone Max phone cases I'm gonna throw in here, you know. And then again, just some randomness, like a purse. You know, who knows what they can get for this. It's like on eBay, some people are selling them for like $18. Well, this Nalt is kind of expensive. You know, it's not too much. Maybe like around $16, $17 or so. CBD free stuff can be kind of expensive. So I just throw it in there and I know they can get at least 10 bucks, at least 10 bucks. Although I know certain, C this brand can sell anywhere from like $30 or so. So, and then we have some sealed keto pills. Don't expire until 2021. I'm trying to be mindful about that. So, but anyways, you get the idea. So th these are the things I'm trying to throw in this mystery box. So if you think it's okay and they get a good value, let me know, you know? So even this camera, I got this camera for free, so I'm gonna pass it on to this mystery box. So, you know, I don't even know what it's worth. I haven't even looked it up or anything, but you know, so if you think, you know, I'm giving good values for the mystery boxes, let me know. 
But anyways, let's get back to the video and talk about what exactly I got today because today was one dollar day, which I've already said like 100 times already. <laughs> but uh, oh, here goes another random mystery box. Then I have five mystery boxes that's already pre-made that I made for some contestants. One of those boxes is really, really crappy, but it's crappy for a reason. They can still make some money off of it, but there's a note inside and they'll understand why that they didn't get a really good mystery box. <laughs> but anyways, let's see if I can sit here and let's talk about some of the items that we got today. Get a bunch of these. I got seven actually of these Fallout Xbox games. Um, I may leave a price right here or so. But one of the best things that I got today would probably be these um, nursing clipboards for like nurses and doctors. Uh, when I before my account got suspended, I was selling these like I don't want to say crazy, but they were they were selling kind of frequently on my Amazon account, and they were selling for like twenty bucks or so, somewhere around that price range. So it's good to find a bunch of these, and I got them for a dollar. So you can't beat that. And then there's guidelines for exercise book. I think the trend, trending price is like around $19 right now as we speak. We got two of those, paid a dollar for it. Samsung water filter that I've sold before several times. Um, I think, I wanna say my brain is saying two packs for like 36 bucks for some reason. So maybe I'm selling one packs for $18.88. But again, got it for a dollar. We have like four or five of these uh, super enzyme pills. Yeah, I don't feel like digging them all out, but you, I hopefully you believe me by now, but yeah, I have like four or five of those pills in the bag. We got them all for a dollar. So you kind of see what's going on. And let me talk about some items that I got today that may not be worth that much money as well, because I do take chances on items that may not be worth that much money and it could turn out to be a loss. But if I do a proper research and I get three or four items to pay for this entire day, all the bull crap items, shall I say, I don't have to worry about because, you know, eventually I'll get rid of them, donate them to Goodwill, sell them cheap at a yard sale, or I mean, give them something will happen to those products because I really don't like products sitting for long anyway. Like right now, I'm trying to get rid of my entire death pal for like 200 bucks. So like, yeah, it's, it gets like that sometimes. You just want to get rid of everything and liquidate and then build it all back up again. But anyways, I'm rambling. This is a I was about to say this is a what's so video, but I can't ramble because this is not a what's so video. This is <laughs> another type of video. <laughs> but anyways, these uh, V-Star whitening, they aren't really worth that much and aren't selling that frequently, but they were a dollar. They're brand new sealed. Christmas time is coming up and the metaphorical Q4 that everybody loves to rave about. You know what I'm saying? I might as well get these products too. I get products like this, so I'll test the market and see exactly what I can get. And if not, they'll be great Christmas gifts. I mean, it's time to really start shopping for christmas gifts who won't want new whiter teeth on this final fantasy 10 playstation 2 game dollar these men's multivitamins we got those dollar and we have like five of those i believe four or five of those and i think they were selling for like 14 to 18 dollars a piece we got this hayward i think this thing was selling for like 24 dollars or so please don't quote me on that and i might put prices by some of these items i might not so don't hold me to it. You've seen this on the channel before. This sold for me before quickly. This should be on a what sold video, I believe. Um, and we have two of them. So yeah, guys. So uh, yeah, we got a pretty a bunch of pretty good, decent products. Kenmore. We got two of these Kenmore Elites. I think they were going for like 20 bucks a pop. Got them for a dollar. I have a Wii now and I found this controller as soon as I walked in there. So I think it was just wonderful because I was about to order one yesterday, but I didn't have to. Now I have another one. We have this NoCal, which I think we've probably seen on one of my videos on $6 day that I didn't get, but this item was there on dollar day. So that's pretty good. That's a good good find. And then we've seen one of these on the channel before. Pretty much, guys. Yeah, that's that's um, going to be it for me going through all these items. Behavior code. Some of this books. I think this book's going for like 14 bucks. But uh, we do have some items that's not really that great, like this foot detox. I got this item and I saw a four pack sell for like 42 bucks. There was really no comps on one packs, but I still got it just because this is something that can be used often. And if I can't sell it, I can end up using it for myself or give it to somebody I know. So that's another reason I take chances on items like that as well. But anyways, guys, you know me, the video's getting too long and it's time for me to go because I got work to do. 
But anyways, as always, thank you for watching the channel. Thank you for like, sharing, commenting, 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 and watching these profits, profits, profits. I love it, guys. And um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I didn't, I'm, not, I'm not forgetting anything. But if you want a mystery box or anything, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and leave me a message. I get back to people fairly quickly when I can. Uh, but yeah, as always, guys, thank you for everything that you do. And one more thing to the lady who today who told somebody else about my channel and then that person felt the need to come tell me how much that other person loved my channel like that made me feel so good that people are acting actually out in the world sharing my content like that is incredible guys so and don't be thinking i'm going to be out there just giving everybody money just because you just subscribe to me it's not gonna be happening like that every single time some days i feel like i'm gonna do it some days i won't i don't know but uh yeah, I do appreciate everybody. So that's just, it was a spur of the moment thing when the lady came to me and told me about the other lady. That's why I did that. I, you know what I'm saying? I had previously already gave her $5 because she came to me and mentioned to me that she liked my channel and she was like, well, I'm gonna let you get back to work real quick. And I wasn't recording at the time, but uh, I'm glad that the other lady came to me and told me that she watches my channel as well because of the other lady. So cool beans, guys, cool, cool beans. and. I don't even like the word cool beans. My sister says it all the time, but whatever. Anyways, 11, 11 on the clock. That means Tay gotta go. Make sure you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm gonna bless somebody tomorrow. And uh, it's vacation time, guys. So uh, I see you when I get back. Tay is <laughs> out.